I'm not a hero, I'm a mom. When this young mom says she'll do anything to protect her baby, she means it. There's nothing more dangerous than a mom with her baby. Late New Year's Eve, 18-year-old Sarah McKinley was taking care of her three-month-old son when police say two men tried to break into her home outside Oklahoma City. He was crying at the time, so I put a bottle in his mouth trying to get him to stop. Um, I got a pistol and called 911 on my cell phone. McKinley just lost her husband to cancer on Christmas Day and recognized one of the men as someone she thought was stalking her. For 20 terrifying minutes, she waited as they tried to bust in. Are your doors locked? Yes, I've got two guns in my hand. Is it okay to shoot him if he comes in the store? I can't tell you that you can do that, but you do what you have to do to protect your baby. So she did, shooting and killing the 24-year-old intruder. The other suspect later turned himself in. Police in Oklahoma call this shooting justified. But could any homeowner anywhere in the United States do the same thing? But what if you did the same thing and did not live in a castle doctrine state like Oklahoma where this happened? Here to help us answer that question is criminal defense attorney Nicole DeBoard. Now, Nicole, first off, she was well within her right. She ended up killing one of the assailants. The other one ran away and got arrested. She was well within the right to shoot, correct? Absolutely, because she was in her own home and she was under attack. Right, so that happens in Oklahoma, it's okay. In the other 49 states, are we okay to protect ourselves and our family? We really are inside our own home. The idea that a man's home is his castle or her castle is where this castle doctrine comes from. And if you are under deadly attack in your home, you have uh, the right to fight back and to, uh, to shoot and to kill. Now, you also, uh, you told me about a retreat. Some, some states uh, require that you retreat at first, avoid the confrontation. Right. If you're not inside your own home, the question is a little more unclear. And then you have in certain states the idea that if you can completely safely retreat from the circumstance, then you're required to do that first. But as a general rule, if you're in your own home and you're under attack, which we can assume that she was certainly in this case because of the knife and because he was breaking into her home, you're allowed to use deadly force to protect yourself and your family. She 